So I'm just going to run through the procedure for setting up and using a microscope. So this is the microscope I'm going to be using. The first thing we need to do is to rotate the eyepieces. And to do that, we're going to just slacken off the little silver knob on the side, turn the eyepiece around, and just tighten it finger tight. We'll unspool the lead. And I'm just going to plug that into the point here. On the side of the microscope is the on-off switch. That will turn the light on, which is underneath the stage. You can turn the strength of the light up and down by rotating the knob just below the switch. You've got two eyepieces here. These are binocular microscopes. You can move the distance of the eyepieces closer and further away from each other to suit your own eyes. The eyepieces themselves are times 10 magnification. At the base of the microscope, you've got the objective lenses. The yellow one is 100 times magnification. You'll notice that it's got a 10 there. So this is 10 times magnification multiplied by 10 times magnification on the eyepiece gives you 100 times magnification. So yellow is 100 times magnification. The red is 40 times magnification. The blue, slightly longer, that's 400 times magnification. And the silver is 100, uh, 1,000 times magnification. And essentially, when you're using this, it's usually best to start with 100 times magnification. And you have that pointing straight down. So it's pointing down at the stage. The stage is where you're going to put the microscope slide. You'll notice that on the side, there is a control which enables you to move the stage backwards and forwards and side to side. So no more fiddling about with microscope slides. The slide itself slips into the jaws of this caliper like so, and then you can just place it into position so that you can have a look at it. When you're starting to use a microscope, it's always best to manually, from the side, turn the control knob so that the stage and the lens are as close as possible. That's much better than starting like this, looking down the microscope, and then crash, the lens goes through the slide. So always start as close as possible and track away. This control is the normal focusing control. So you can get your subject into focus. At the end, you've got a supplementary control, which is a fine tuning, fine focusing control. And that enables you to sharpen up the image as much as possible. A trick for finding objects and making sure you're focusing at the right distance is to go to the edge of the stage, look down the microscope until you see the edge of the stage moving backwards and forwards, and then focus on that. That will then mean you're pretty much focused for whatever is actually on the surface of the slide. Just beneath the stage, you've got this control. And this is for the condenser. This will move closer and further away. 
Now normally you won't need to touch this and I advise you to wait for your tutor before you actually start to try to adjust that. When you're changing magnification, get the specimen into focus at the lower magnification and then swing your lens round clockwise to the next highest magnification and just refocus with the fine focusing control on the side. Once you've finished, turn the microscope off, remove the slide and put it in your slide container. Just move the eyepieces slightly together, slacken off the silver knob on the side and return the eyepieces to their starting position. Unplug and just wrap it round so it's a little bit tidy. And finish off by just putting your cover over. That's how to use a standard optical microscope in the biology lab. I hope you found it helpful.